What's up, y'all? It's your boy Cuddy. We back at it again with the S3, man. And finally, 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 we're gonna be tuned, man. So today's video, we're gonna be putting in some uh, one-step colder spark plugs, and then we're gonna be flashing on an EQT stage one tune. Um, I was really, I was stuck on the fence between IE and EQT. Um, the memorial sale came through, and so I just, I had to go with EQT. The deal I got was just, it was too good to pass up on, so. We went with EQT, we're gonna start with the stage one and we're gonna slowly build up more and more until we get to stage two, maybe E85, you know, who knows. But first we're gonna start with installing the spark plugs. Um, if you guys know, like are familiar with the MQB platform, um, there's a good chance with uh, different spark plugs that the, the ground strap can break off and go into the engine. So EQT recommends this one step colder spark plug with a non-projected electrode. So that's what we're gonna go with. Um, I went with NGK, I'll show you what they look like. And we're gonna be gapped down to 0. Point, or 0 0.024 gapped on the spark plugs. Um, so I'll show you guys what they look like right now. So this is the NGK spark plug number. Um, I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys can find it, but you can also find it on the EQT's website. They have a link for that as well. Um, but this is the spark plug itself, um, non-projected electrode, and I have it gapped to 0 0.024 as well um, because that's what EQT recommends for the gapping. So um, we're going to put these in and then we'll get to the access port a little bit later. I got the hood all opened up. It's a little dirty. Don't worry. We're going to clean it up before we get out of here. Um, but basically, all you got to do is unscrew these 10 millimeter nuts here. And then once you unscrew them, you can push that wire harness back. And then we're gonna take out the coils, take out the old plugs, put in the new plugs, and then do it all in reverse. Super easy. For the coil packs, the way I took them out is I put a small flathead here and I just bent this upward very gently. You gotta be careful because it is plastic so you can break it. So I just bent it up very gently and you'll hear a click. And once you hear that click, it's released. So I've already taken them all off. So you can just kind of wiggle it out and then you can take it out. All right, so I got the screws out of the coils here. At first I was a little nervous because I started uh, taking them out and the whole thing started moving and I, I was like, what the heck? But it's attached, so don't worry. When you start doing them, you'll see that. Um, so we're gonna take the coils out real quick. It should be real easy, just pop them out and then we can get to the spark plug at the bottom. I just left AutoZone. I had to go pick this up. I thought I had a 5.8 uh, spark plug socket puller, but I didn't. I got this one, it's magnetic, so I don't have to worry about it. Um, so when you're doing this, just make sure you have a 5.8 socket. I got all the coils out now, so you can see the spark plug in there. Now I have my 5.8 socket that I needed so I can pull them out. So I'm just gonna put these in here with the 3.8 extension, uh, twist these out, and then we're gonna put them back in with the new plug. I got the original plugs out now. Um, these were most likely from the factory just because when I got the car, it only had about 20,000 miles on it. So I don't think it was due for a spark plug service. So um, at least we got these out and now we're gonna put some fresh ones in for the car. It's definitely gonna feel a lot better. This is the new plug. Obviously it looks brand new, a lot better with a different tip as well. You can see the non-projected electrode tip compared to this one here. So we're gonna throw these in and I'm gonna be putting them in dry. I'm not gonna put any type of lubrication or anything on them. They're going in dry. Also guys, another piece of advice when you're doing spark plugs, um, always put them in hand tight first. You don't wanna go straight to torquing them down with a, a ratchet or anything like that. Just so you make sure you're getting the tread in the right way and you're not gonna strip anything because we all know that if you strip a spark plug uh, thread, you're gonna have a lot of problems. So uh, just make sure you put it in by hand first and then you can tighten it down with the ratchet and then a torque wrench, of course. I got all the plugs in now with the new NGKs. And so I did a little bit of research on the torque spec for the plugs and the consensus was kind of like 22 foot pounds around that range for NGK plugs. So I have my torque wrench here and we have it set to 22 foot pounds and then we're gonna throw these on, torque them down and then we'll be all good to slap everything back on. We got everything torqued to spec now, so we're just gonna put the coils back in, screw everything in, put the wire harness back on, and then we'll start the car just to make sure everything's running smooth. All right guys, so if all went well, I'm gonna put the car on and it's gonna start. So let's see. Beautiful, beautiful. We're back in business, boys. Now it's time to put this tune on, man. All right guys, so I have the car on a battery tender. Make sure you do this because when we flash on the access port, it takes about 20 minutes and you don't want your battery to die midway through the flash because you can just have a ton of issues. So I have this on a battery tender charging up. We're gonna get in the car now. We're gonna plug in the access port and we're gonna install the EQT stage one tune on it. I came inside for this part of the video because I have a neighbor playing music outside and I don't wanna get any copyright claims on my video. Um, so this is basically everything you get in the cob box. 
Uh, first thing, you get these stickers from Cobb saying that you're stage one. Obviously, we won't be using a Cobb tune. We're going to be using EQT, so we won't be using those. Um, you get some Cobb stickers as well, um, a faceplate for the access port itself, and a mount. The only thing about the mount is that it, the way they give it to you, they want you to stick it onto your car, and honestly, I refuse. So I'm not going to be sticking this onto my dashboard. No way. So I'm going to just find myself a new mount to put on. And then in these accessories, you have a power cable. I'm assuming this is to plug it into the computer. And then this is the actual OB2 cable itself that actually powers the access port inside the car. So we're plugged in through the OBD2 port. Don't mind my steel toe Crocs. You know, anytime we're working, we got the Crocs on. Um, but basically, when you first turn on the access port, it's giving you a general idea of how to use it. So we're gonna get into it. You guys are gonna do it with me and then um, we'll see how it goes. So first, you know, up, down, left, whatever, how to go back, stuff like that. So we're going to press OK here to continue. And we are with EQT, so we're going to install the access port to our vehicle. And so this is about a 20 minute process. So like I said, make sure you have that battery tender so your battery doesn't die on you. Um, so we're going to install to the ECU first and then we'll go into doing the DSG tune later. Um, I'll make a separate video on that one just because I have to email EQT and then get everything sorted out so they can send me the file. So we'll just do ECU for today's video and the next video will be the DSG. So I'm going to press install to ECU and we're just going to wait here and I'm expecting about 20 minutes or so and see, make sure that that matches. It does Audi S3. Perfect. And then we're going to press continue here. Okay. And then we're going to go straight to EQT stage 191. And then just make sure that your car is stocked before you do it. My car is basically, it had 20,000 miles. Everything was stock on it. Um, so I don't have to worry about this, but if you don't know, I mean, maybe you can check, but um, you know, this is just depending on if you have a tune on the car and you, you bought it secondhand basically. So just for you guys, just make sure you uh, don't have a tune on the car. I also wanted to add, make sure you guys take off your Bluetooth before you start doing this process, just because if it connects to your phone, you can interrupt the process of flashing the ECU. So turn off your Bluetooth before you start doing this. All right, so I'm in the flashing process right now. When you guys are doing this, make sure you leave the key in the car and do not open any of your doors. All right guys, so once it got to 90, it literally finished super quick. So um, I kind of missed that part, but we're gonna turn off the ignition and turn it back on and it'll be good to go. All right, so we're clearing the trouble codes. Like I said, you guys didn't have to worry about that. They'll clear it out for you. So just wait for that to finish. All right, so we're all good. So we're gonna turn the ignition off for at least 15 seconds and then we'll start the car up. All right, so if everything went to plan, I'm gonna start the car and we're gonna be fully tuned by EQT, guys. There it is. All right, so we're all tuned now. Um, we're gonna get into the DSG later. Um, I'm not gonna do that for you guys today. Um, we're gonna do that for another video. So we're in the car now. Um, we're gonna start off in comfort mode. We're just gonna kind of feel it out. Um, so far, it feels exactly the same. There's really no difference that I could tell while we're in comfort mode. Um, so that's the start. Um, the car's already warmed up, so I might as well just, you know, throw it in the dynamic, you know, what we all want. Um, and then we're gonna see what the EQT stage one feels like. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it, man. Here we go. First pull with the EQT stage one. All right, so we're feeling good, feeling good. Do maybe a little 40 roll, I'm thinking. See how much different it feels. definitely wakes it up and it just feels so much better than it did initially and initially um i i mean eqt you know they do their they do their thing you know so i'm definitely liking it uh, so we'll just kind of dig into it a little more here the, here and there and then we'll really see how it's feeling but so far just that one pool it's a completely different car like completely so i'll do a little second gear pool here uh, let me see how it feels That is it for sure. It feels great. It literally feels great. It's not insanely fast. Don't get me wrong. It's not like 
you're not going to be gapping everything with this tune but it definitely wakes up the car so i'll show you guys what it actually looks like on the um on the speedometer here you know on the on the dash uh so you guys can kind of have an idea of how fast we're picking up speed here with the stage one So that's the end of today's install. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Up next, we're going to be doing the DSG, which is going to take the car to another level as well. Um, it's actually not required for stage one, but at the deal I was getting it, I ended up buying it. So we're going to flash that on in the next video, but I wanted to make this one solely focused on the actual access port itself and just doing stage one on the ECU. Um, but that's about it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hope this kind of helped you guys make a decision on who to go tuned with. And for me, definitely was the great, like the perfect choice. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one, man. Later, y'all. Peace.